All right, folks, today I wanted to introduce you to my uh, new kayak. I've got this from Adirondack Kayak Warehouse. They are located in Amsterdam, New York. Okay, I wanted to go over a few of the features of this kayak today. In front here we have this handle, bow, storage area. Here's your stand-up assist strap. You are able to stand up in this kayak. And then you've got these two notches right here. Bring your paddle down so it doesn't move around. You've got plenty of room. You could probably put a crate. And back here you've got another handle with your drain plug. This is a two-position seat. And you can lift up and drop it into the notch here. This seat right here you, it has a strap. And it's got an aluminum uh, construction, pretty strong frame it looks like. One uh, add-on item I wanted to share with you today, I'm gonna be putting on is this uh, anchor trolley kit. I do like about that ring that comes with it. It's, that's where you uh, attach your anchor to, but I can also run a stake pole through there. So if I didn't want to use anchor and if I'm in shallow enough water, I've got a stake pole I can run down through that and again position that anywhere from bow to stern on the kayak. So that should come in handy. I'll show you guys how to make that, that stake pole out of PVC in another tutorial. Okay, these are the tools you're gonna need for this anchor trolley kit install. I've got here a drill with a 3 16 drill bit for drilling holes to install uh, rivets. I've got the rivet gun here, measuring tape. I got some heat shrink for uh, tying up uh, loose ends of the uh, trolley rope. I've got a heat pen, basically it's a, a torch for heating up the, the sh heat shrink. I've got some silicone rubber adhesive sealant, a Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 wrench, marking pen, and a cutting tool. All right, what you see right here are the parts that come with this anchor trolley kit. You've got the instructions. You've got 30 feet of trolley rope right here that you will probably cut down to fit your application. It comes with this nylon zigzag cleat, nylon ring, two stainless steel snap hooks, two stainless steel pulleys, and two stainless steel pad eyes. Now it also comes with this package of hardware. You have rivets and mounting bolts. Uh, those are optional. If you gotta have an area that you can't reach any tools into uh, to tighten up hardware, of course you could use rivets. Okay, you wanna attach these pad eyes so they're above the water line. And they're approximately 12 to 18 inches from either end, the bow or the stern. Drilled out. Now in this application, I'm going to go ahead and use the nut and bolts because I can easily get to them from inside here. I can make, I can thread them on. Before I attach these pad eyes, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some silicone in here. And what that's going to do, it's going to go ahead and seal that hole when I put the bolts through against the pad eye so I can have a nice seal. Alright. Next thing we do is attach our stainless steel snap hooks. And on the snap hook I want to attach a pulley. So this is what you end up with. Now you're gonna do this to both ends of your boat. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this end of the boat. Only difference is, at this end I'm gonna use rivets. Because I have no access to the inside of this boat.
have your pulley and your stainless steel snap hook that your trolley rope will attach to. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and install this zigzag cleat and mount it to the side here. I wanna mount it here because it's going to be closest in relation to my seated position in the chair here. I can just reach down and operate this cleat. Again, I'm gonna be using rivets for this install. Next step now is to run my trolley rope through my pulleys. On one end, I've already attached the nylon ring. I tied it on there, and then I used some heat shrink to, to tie that all in. So now I'm gonna run it from one pulley to the other. run that through as you can see if you pull on this top rope here give you control of your ring that's what your, uh, your ankle will attach to so now you want to tie that on the bed nylon ring I think the best way to do that now that I've attached this cleat to go ahead and run the rope through there now you have a good nice grip on the rope so it doesn't slide back and forth on you while you're trying to do this tie. And then we'll cut this off here. And I'm also going to run this heat shrink up on it also. And that'll be my finished product. go that's your trolley tighten everything down with your cleat here Just like that now it's free now it's loose move it wherever you like that's cleated down you can do both if you like. Okay, so I've got my trolley on here. So let's take this out and see what it does on the water. <laughs> 